Hey guys, I'm back out in my shop this morning, uh, getting ready to start the uh, CNC router video series that I talked about a while back. I uh, hope everybody's excited about that. I know I am. Uh, got the design mostly done. I've got far enough along, and I'm going to go ahead and start. And uh, uh, I'm going to start putting, cutting some parts and putting a few things together uh, today. And we'll talk about uh, uh, you know the design of it a little bit as we go. Uh, I've been buying up some hardware that I think I'm going to need and I'm also keeping my receipts so what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean off the dry erase board here and we'll keep a tally of uh, exactly what I'm spending uh, to make this, uh, this CNC router because you know the whole idea is to try to make one uh, as inexpensive as possible but yet make one that's, that's worth running uh, and I think, uh, I think we'll be able to do that. Uh, when I started thinking about um, you know, building another router, I thought, well, you know, there's a million different ways you can do it. You can look on YouTube, and there's all kinds of different designs and different things, and uh, rather than try to build one like what I did out of steel, that's, you know, that runs a little more, uh, it's a little more expensive, and plus I'm trying to make it where somebody can build one of these in their shop, uh, you know, so I looked and looked and looked on YouTube, watched hours of videos, different things and, and I found a guy that's got a design that I really like um, and he's he's making the uh, I think he started out making them out of MDF but then he switched to uh, cabinet grade birch plywood and uh, the thing just looks really awesome it moves really good uh, you know the videos he's got on there showing it in operation look good but I thought well you know of course this guy's selling these or selling the kits so um, you know, I need to find out uh, from people who have bought them and, and, and put them together, uh, you know, what kind of problems or, you know, if any that they're having with them. So, so I watched several videos of people that have bought kits from this guy and, uh, you know, and then they've made modifications to improve upon it. So uh, that was pretty cool to see some of the things they've done. And I thought, you know, what I did is I thought, well, I'm going to try to, basically design a smaller machine around that style and uh, and also try to incorporate some of the improvements that, that some of the other people have made so and plus use what what I already know works uh, for a smaller CNC so anyway uh, I'm about ready to get started here I've got uh, some uh, birch plywood that I got at Lowe's the other day so I'm going to set up my new handy dandy saw horses that I made the other week and um, Cut a few blanks and we'll get ready to start cutting some parts. Okay, I just finished putting together some of the uh, gantry parts uh, for the CNC router uh, that I cut today. Uh, let me turn this thing around a little bit so you can see this will be the front. Uh, your uh, Y axis and uh, Z axis will be right here. And there's a view from the side. And it'll run on aluminum angles with B groove bearings. Here's a view from the back. And this is just kind of a box construction. It's very solid. It's going to be very stiff. I think it's going to work out really good. But. Uh, I decided to go with a size uh, of a cutting area of approximately 36 by 24, give or take maybe an inch or so. I think that's a good size that will not only be inexpensive to make, but uh, will also pretty much fit in anybody's workshop. You know, this will be a real fit. Uh, you know, you can set it right on a workbench or something, and and uh, it'll work fine on that. So anyway, I just wanted to. Uh, so the gantry parts here, I've still got a lot more parts to cut, uh, I'll probably get around to uh, cutting some more of this, this next week. I did want to also mention that uh, I started a Facebook page for Sidewinder CNC. Uh, I'll put a link to that in the description down below and you know if you want to follow this build with and see the pictures because uh, I'll probably take a lot of still pictures as I as I go through this build, uh, and maybe some more detailed information on there that that you know 
a lot quicker to put on there than to talk about it here in this video. Uh, so, you know, go to that Facebook page like that, and, uh, and then you'll stay up to date on uh, the progress of this uh, CNC router build. Another thing I wanted to mention, too, is uh, if anybody's, you know, anywhere near the Atlanta area, uh, there's a really good woodworking show coming up uh, in about two weeks, uh, March 7th, 8th, and 9th. It's like Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It's at the North Atlanta Trade Center in uh, Norcross, Georgia. So uh, I go to that one every year, and it's a, uh, a smaller smaller woodworking show than the one they have every other year at the World Congress Center in Atlanta, but it's not, really I like this one better because it's more, uh, seems like it's more suited for the uh, the hobby woodworkers like myself. So um, I really enjoy going to that show. So if you're at that show and you see me wandering around there, uh, please come up and say hello. Uh, love to meet you. Uh, I'm not sure what day I'm going to be there. Uh, who knows, I may be there all three days, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, that's coming up. Uh, thanks again for all the uh, new subscribers. Still getting a lot of subscribers, and I really appreciate that. And also, one thing I wanted to mention when I was building this, uh, if you watch the video that I put up the other week about the uh, stackable saw horses, and you haven't built yourself a set of these yet, you're really missing out, because I, I used those when I was trying to cut this plywood up, and by having four of them, you can really... Uh, you know, real, they're really handy to, to set plywood on and, and cut it up and really worked out nice. So uh, check that video out and the plans are available to you uh, for those stackable saw horses. So anyway, just wanted to thank everybody for uh, watching my videos. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, please do. And I guess that's going to wrap this one up. And until the next time, we'll talk to you later.